All right, guys, what we're going to do now, uh, it's going to sound a lot like the throwing progressions we were talking about earlier when we warm up every single day before we get into a uh, bullpen or anything like that. But when we actually get into a bullpen, we're going to take the throwing progression stuff that we've already learned and continue to use that in bits and pieces in the things we do. And what we're about to do right now is we're going to work on up, down, and out. And, um, and that's just a saying that you want to tell to yourself to know what your body is feeling like and doing as you're coming down, down the mound, delivering your pitch to your catcher. And what the whole purpose of this, guys, is the up, down, and out drill is to, again, um, create fluidity, but also is to, to actually get to a point to where we're driving our leg down, which is going to help generate a point to where we're having to force our back leg off the rubber. But also, if we're doing it right, it helps us from flying open. And when I use that term flying open, I'll back up and show you. If I'm flying open, my leg is kind of going to kind of hinge out and my arm is going to lag the rest of my body. I'm going to expose a lot of my lats right here and that everything just gets so far behind the rest of my delivery to the plate where a lot of times if I'm left hand, the ball's going to be away from a righty, possibly even high. Um, basically just takes away the consistency. So what we're trying to do is to create um, a muscle memory that is leading our the force of our body downhill where it's nice and balanced and our body is closed off to the point where we're throwing. Remember we worked on a lot of throwing progressions of getting the ball out front. If I'm flying open there's no way that I can get the ball out front with a fastball in the way that I want to so I can be consistent. So there's lots of different points of why up, down, and out is important, and I'm going to walk us through slowly, and then I'm going to uh, kind of go through really fast the way it should look like in a bullpen. We're going to want to start out from the stretch position. Go ahead and get nice and comfortable. Some guys like to start off shoulder width apart. Some guys are super. I don't really care. Whatever's works for you, whether you're comfortable with it, that's the way you should always start out in general. So get comfortable in a set position. You're going to come up. Again, my glove is going to come up a little bit with my leg, my leg lift. I'm literally going to drive my toe down to where it is almost skimming uh, whatever surface I'm on. Right now I'm on turf. So I'm forcing that leg down. When I'm coming out, I'm going to separate my arms. There's a saying that I always like to use, I've always used it, is um, toes, elbows, and nose. They should all be going, going towards the same place. And if we're doing that, that's going to help us get to the point where we want to be when we're pitching, getting out front, front with that fastball or that changeup, whatever, whatever pitch we want to do. But it's going to help. So again, we're coming set. We're lifting the leg. We're forcing toe down. We're separating. Pointing whatever it is, your elbow to your target or your glove. Either way, you're going to get to a point where you're going to wrap and give that elbow to your catcher. I'm throwing the ball, Coach Allen. In with a flat back, arm extended out front. So this is what it should feel like when you're in a bullpen. When we're working on up, down, and outs. This should not be mechanical. It not, it, we should not be stopping and feeling how our body feels like at, at the point where if you're getting comfortable. You should not do that anymore. You're telling in yourself in your mind, I'm up, down, out. I'm finishing with a little bit of a leg kick. We'll work on something in a minute. It's going to help us with that. But again, I'm generating power from my back leg. I'm balanced all the way through. My toes are going to end. I didn't talk about this a little while ago, but if I'm doing this correctly, I'm lifting my leg, I'm generating that power. My toe, when I land, should be the first thing that touches, the end step. So the balls of my feet should be touching. It should be a little bit closed off. By that, we don't want my, my heel to touch first where everything is parallel. Do not want my toes to go straight towards my catcher. But I want to be a little bit closed off where I can pivot and then get my catcher. Toes, elbows, nose, it all works out together. 
One more time, Coach Bellflower. Up, down, out. 